Now we have installed and configured the Firebase created this authentication with a single user. Now let's see how we can sign in, not sign up, it's registering. I want signing in because we already have the user. When we want to sign in, we need to use the Firebase, then auth and then sign in with email and password and then passing the email and the password. So let's copy all these things from here and where we need to go, we need to go to the login page and here in this page you can see when we are submitting this form, this one, we are handling this function. Okay, so here I can say firebase.auth.signin with the email and the password. So here we can provide the email. I should hard code it with the sarthak at bitfumes.com and the password is real password okay but this firebase is actually a configured firebase that means firebase from our configuration file which should be from the config and the firebase like here so now let's just try it so once again let's go here open the dev tool and click on network tab clear it click on this login and we can see we have this and we then return get this user information okay if we are having everything right then we should get something inside the console that means we need to check the then part so i can say dot then we have the response and we can simply log the response okay so that's good let's try it so clear this click on login and we need to wait for some time and then we have this user information so let's just fix the loading effect and to have that we can simply say use state and is loading initially false when we hit this uh, login so when we hit the form then it's true but after the then part it will be false and on this uh, login i can say like if is loading is true then I'm going to show like once again a simple i tag with a class name of fast for circle notch and fast spin or not not fast just fire spin and then text of I think normal will be good but otherwise this should be a simple string like this let's try it and user state is not there every time i forgot it okay once again let's go back click here loading 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 and then we have this that's cool but one more last thing is if is loading is true is loading is true if it is true then return then we don't want to call again and again so even while this is loading if i click on this button nothing is going to happen so we just see that we have only one api call but now i am worrying about what if something is wrong that means email password is not correct then if i click login you can see it's infinitely loading because we are not handling the catch part that means the error part and you can see on this uh, it's given that catch part we have the error we should have the error code and the error message let's go here and on the catch part so i can say dot catch like here then e or err whatever you want to call i just like the just e and I just want to log console.log e. Let's say what is the error we are having. 
and click and yeah so we have some code code is auth wrong password and the message is password is invalid or the user does not have a password hmm seems a valid message but we need to stop this loading so i can say set is loading to false once again and then we need to show the error so one field is for use state of error uh, just error not errors and a simple string and then i can say set error is e dot and what was that i can have from here a simple message e dot message and where we can show this message we can show this message somewhere in any uh, you can say notification and for now i'm just going to show above this login so here we have this and above this login i can have a p tag and this p tag will going to render the error but this is only going to render if error is not equal to empty string then only show this p tag uh, double end okay so yep click on login and password is invalid or user does not have a valid password so we have handled the both situations like success situation and the error situation so next we don't want to hard code this password and the username we really want to get the username and the password from these fields